For some, it's only a matter of time before time travel becomes possible. The laws of physics allow for it, at least to travel forwards, and there would be massive commercial value if it ever were invented. However, there are also those that believe that what we're waiting for is actually already here, that time travel is not only real, but already very advanced. And what's more, that the secrecy surrounding it goes all the way to the very top of global politics. This is Unveiled, and today we're taking a closer look at Project Pegasus. Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell for more thought-provoking content. This isn't the first time that the US government has been accused of keeping something hugely significant from the rest of the world, and it more than likely won't be the last. Between Area 51, the Montauk Project, the Philadelphia Experiment, MKUltra, and more, the American authorities have an entrenched reputation for allegedly concealing the truth. But perhaps Project Pegasus is the strangest and potentially most significant claim of all. At the center of it is Andrew Basiago, a one-time successful lawyer turned time travel whistleblower. Since the mid-2000s, Basiago has variously claimed that he was one of the first chrononauts, a traveler in time, during a top-secret U.S. initiative known as Project Pegasus. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, when Basiago was a child, it's said that he and a select few gifted children from across America were chosen by the CIA and DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, to be trained in the ways of time travel. Basiago's allegations, while incredibly far-reaching, have now withstood for a number of years, with many drawn in by the consistency of his claims. So what exactly does he have to say? Over the years, Basiago has plotted a truly extraordinary life story. He says that starting at the age of seven, when he was recruited for Project Pegasus, he was sent on various missions by DARPA, including back into the past to revisit some of history's most famous dates. He claims to have made multiple visits to Ford's Theater in Washington, specifically on April 14, 1865, aka the night that Abraham Lincoln was assassinated there. He also claims to have been sent back to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 18 months earlier to witness Lincoln deliver the Gettysburg Address on November 19, 1863. Here he even says there's photographic proof, as Basiago claims to have been captured by chance in the foreground of a famous photo showing Lincoln in the background. The figure that Basiago says is him is standing apparently alone, slightly apart from another small group, and looking to his right. There are suggestions that he was wearing adult-sized shoes as part of a rushed disguise during the trip, which is arguably apparent in the image. It's said that Basiago traveled to some locations so frequently that he was often in danger of meeting himself, and perhaps did on a couple of occasions. However, there were no world-ending paradoxes triggered, with further suggestions that he may have even visited slightly different versions of past events with each somehow affected by the time traveling that had gone on before. Most of what's on record about Basiago's story is as a result of him having run for president in the past, most notably in 2016 as an independent candidate. In interviews on the campaign tour, Basiago made some pledges to disclose official records if he ever had the opportunity to do so. However, this is a tale that also involves the White House more directly than only Basiago's run. It's said that Project Pegasus has before provided U.S. authorities with information about certain future presidents, too, and that in some cases, those individuals might have even been briefed beforehand as a result. Meanwhile, perhaps the strangest aspect of this entire situation is that Basiago goes so far as to say that a former president was also directly involved as a traveler back in the day, Barack Obama. Basiago says that he met Obama through a follow-up to Pegasus in the early 1980s when Obama was around 19 years old, and by that time DARPA had really scaled up, as Basiago and Obama were allegedly part of a group that teleported to Mars. It's said that while the pair barely spoke, they were in a top-secret cohort sent to the Red Planet on an early reconnaissance mission tasked with, among other things, building trust with the locals. In amongst everything else Basiago has to say, it almost goes unnoticed, but he reckons that there is life on Mars and that he's met it. Some of the Martians are then said to be friendly and others not so much. 
But the groundwork for the eventual revelation of life on Mars to the public has already been made by the likes of Basiago and Obama. When these allegations surfaced in and around 2012, a red-letter year for conspiracy theorists, they were swiftly denied by U.S. officials. However, if any of it is true, then we will surely know by 2028, at least, because that's when Basiago also claims that he will be elected either president or vice president of America. Given his history with time travel, he says that he has prior knowledge that this will happen. But still, how did any of it happen up until this point? Again, one of the reasons why Basiago's claims have endured while others have fallen away is because he has consistently referred to the same kinds of technology and the same initial process. He says he was originally identified as having the potential for time travel in the late 60s, with experiments beginning just a couple of months after the moon landings in 1969. He alleges that his father had also been an early time traveler for a number of years beforehand, but that the Pegasus Initiative aimed to employ young children specifically as their reports would be much truer and free of outside influence, bias, or knowledge. Basiago further claims that even before his enrollment in Pegasus, he had displayed certain other heightened abilities, including clairvoyance, psychic powers, and levitation. In general, he could demonstrate apparent low-level superpowers to the minds of most, as could all of the others involved, which also allegedly included some now high-ranking figures in U.S. security. More than just Basiago or even Obama, it's claimed that Project Pegasus and its various top-secret offshoots were all about creating a new generation of young Americans with extraordinary capabilities. Physically speaking, Basiago has said that the time machine or portal that he used for all of his trips was seemingly quite a simple design. The contraption itself was about 8 feet tall and 10 feet wide, and was apparently just plugged into a socket in the wall. When switched on, it triggered a rush of what's referred to as radiant energy, allegedly based on designs that the U.S. authorities once retrieved from the one-time apartment of Nikola Tesla in the mid-1940s. Being only a time traveler and not a time machine engineer, Basiago has never gone into great detail about how exactly the machine worked, although the link to Tesla implies that it would have been an extremely original concept. Either way, for the user, the DARPA time machines worked like a tunnel, distorting space-time and linking you from the present to the past or future. Simply step through and your journey began. So what do you think? Is Andrew Basiago telling the truth? Has he led a life of time travel? Will he one day become president? And is a former president really involved in a massive cover-up? On the face of it, his claims of a Tesla-inspired vortex that has since been kept secret for decades perhaps appear far-fetched. However, it's a story that he has resolutely stuck to for decades now. Alongside it, he alleges that he's already visited Mars and that there is life to be found there. Back in the here and now, that fact, if true, has yet to be revealed to the rest of us. Until such time that it is, then Basiago's message will no doubt be met with skepticism from many. Then again, has he really just been working within an inevitable paradox all along? Because if time travel is to ever exist, then surely it already does. So is it so hard to believe that the tech is being kept under firm lock and key? For now, that's what allegedly happened when America sent time travelers to another planet. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments. Check out these other clips from Unveiled and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.